Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to get started on the G.I. Joe Classified series. I believe this is an Amazon exclusive, Blue Ninjas. Now, throughout this video, you will hear me call them Revanche Ninjas. Now, the reason why I say that is because in the G.I. Joe comic with Larry Hama, real American hero, starting with issue 172, I believe that's their first appearance, there are blue cybernetic ninjas. And they're from the Revanche company who is working in cybernetics to create cyborg ninjas. And the reason why I call these Revanche Ninjas is because I believe this is a reference to that. Lenny, if I'm wrong, uh, please tell me I'm wrong. But uh, I believe it's the Revanche Ninjas. So it's really cool because also, for those of you that may have missed out Red Ninjas, or you just want a recolor of the Blue Ninjas, or but whatever reason, the point that I'm making is, is that I really like the comic, and that's why I'm calling them Revanche Ninjas. So now you know, and if you put in the comments you don't know why, that means you skip through and you're a jerk. <laughs> but yes, let's talk about it. Here we have our recolored red ninja, which is now blue, and we have our G.I. Joe from the Boovy Pack. Uh, I forgot her name. Wow. Ooh. God damn it. <laughs> but uh, I forgot her name, and I just had it. Um, but yeah, I will pull it up later because I'm already forgetting things. But we're going to talk about this because I actually have... I want to pose these guys up, but I'm not going to do that just yet. But we're going to talk about it because if you haven't seen ninjas already like a million times, now you you, you will. So... I don't know who to begin with, so we'll just mix and match and have some fun. Because I'd, I'd never reviewed the previous figure on this mold, let's talk about this. This figure, I actually really like this. I, the only thing I do not enjoy about this figure is going to be our singular joints. It's probably the one drawback that I have that I wish that they did come with double joints that would make these really, really nice. But uh, if we're talking about just overall, I really like this figure a lot. So we have our kimono top, we have our ninja legs, and articulation wise, other than the arms, it actually is really solid. We have still butterfly joints, they're in there. We have our singular joints, which don't really help in terms of the massive articulation that the rest of the body has. We can look up, we can look down, it has pretty much a double jointed neck that is very, ex like full of expression. We can get a T-pose with no problem, but bending our arms can only come at 90 degrees. We even have like, the waist up top. I wish it went a little deeper, but our kimono bottom is going to be in the way. Legwise, though, it probably, as you can see here, articulation is not an issue. So we have drop down hips. We have thigh swivel, right? We can fold upward. Clearly, we have the beautiful double joints, which fold all the way in, which make a crazy shape, though, when you pay attention. I know some people are going to find that ugly, but whatever. We even have like boot swivel and we have the super generous ankle pivot that they always give us so it's not an issue so actually getting her to pose up outside of the arms is like ridiculously easy because she can hit a ton of poses it's just going to be that single jointed arms is going to just make it fold up not so well right look at that really really nice like i said even the the head articulation is really really nice so there you have that now for this guy, we have our repack of our Red Ninja covering articulation. It's pretty much the same. New color decos, sharper face. I do like that a lot. I do like the face on this one a lot better. And better QC, because I had uh, some issues with my red ones, right? So we're able to hit T-pose. Our joints are much tighter here. The gear is going to get in the way a little bit, so it'll come down just a little bit. Then we have our super generous ab crunch. We have our double jointed head, which our collar is going to get in the way, which is a bit of a bummer in case you want to do cool, super duper ninja stuff. But as you can see, it does tuck in really well forward. Going backwards, our, the back of our hood is going to be in the way on this sculpt. When we talk about the other sculpt, I'll get to that. Just like the female ninja, as you can see here, balancing our legs is not an issue. We still have our drop down legs. We have thigh swivel, right? We have our double joint. And it, it looks just as bad on him when it folds in. But again, it doesn't bother me. I know it's going to bother other people. Like I said, just like the boot swivel as well. But he has double jointed arms. This is where it gets a little... And oh, still have the butterfly joint. Sorry. So this is where it looks different between him and the female ninja. It's going to be that right there. Probably she has better neck movement than he does. But... You can actually work on that by doing certain poses like this. He oh, he also has a waist swivel too. Yeah. But he also has a lot of ports for carrying weapons. So there's a side port here. 
there's two more ports back here you'll get an add-on for the backpack piece same will be for the female ninja and I was able to now get these guys posed up together so now we have that now with all that being said let's talk about the accessories so let's jump now accessory wise I feel like they come with a lot of stuff like right at the gate I feel like they're a lot of stuff and honestly I'm doing this review because I just want to take pictures of ninjas I'm gonna be honest with you I do the first thing I want to talk about is going to be the two brand new scopes that they bring to the table and that is going to be our our Oni mask scope which is why I really enjoy this and I want to get at least five I have three packs total now I want to get two more when the money is right a Kitsune mask a fox mask for the female ninja right and these scopes are very nicely done. Uh, I'm going to take pictures of them with the scopes on. I'm going to actually pop them on right now so you can see what they're like on these bodies and how they uh, change some of the articulation. Because you can see with the, uh, the Revanche Ninjas, right? With our hooded scope, we couldn't really pick our head up. And as you can see here, we actually have a much better head movement. As you can see here. So our hood doesn't get in the way. We have a better range of motion. We can pick our heads up. Kitsune mask. I don't think there's any issue on the female. Oop. Sorry about that, buddy. On the female ninja body, though, I don't think there's. I think they actually moved better overall in the neck movement. There was a lot of room for movement because there was no hood. But yes, it's still really, really solid. So having these guys have these on, it's really, really nice. So you will also get, and I actually had this together with uh, Arctic Storm Shadow. This is a repaint of that set. You see the Arashikage symbol is still there on it. The katana is unsheathed. And this is normally seen with the female ninja. So you can actually pop that on back of her. Or you can put it on top of your revenge blue male ninja. You have the ice pick or the uh, Kurosami ga. There's no ball and chain part. This is just the sickle part. You'll actually get a grappling hook as well. These are things seen with the female ninja, but I, like I said, you can actually mix it up, have some fun. For the male ninja, and you can actually put this on the female one as well. There's our backpack, like I talked about. There are smaller sickles, and there is a katana here. There is a longer katana as well. Actually, this is a, no, it is an Anodoji. No. I don't remember. Crap. I don't remember the name. But yes, this is our longer blade here. You'll also get two small hatchets. You'll get two Psy as well. And these are all unpainted. They just come with the, the gray paint. You'll also get a bow. I think the only thing that they forgot to include would be an arrow. But everything else is like spot on. Like you get a ton of accessories for ninjas. So I, I like that. I like that you do get a ton of accessories for ninjas to have fun and like do that. So that's what you get accessory wise. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep those masks on because I do like those. Uh, I'm going to break out another mask so I can show you a red ninja with that very same mask on. And then we're going to jump into the size comparisons. So I'll see All you right, guys. Here we are now with the size comparison. But first, like I said, I want to see you. Uh, see you. <laughs> I want to show you the red ninja with the blue head on so you guys can see the difference. So now you can see how kind of cool it is to like kind of have that that nice little blend damn motorcycle the other thing is also that uh i've seen a few people do it they've put this sculpt on a arctic storm shadow and it looks really cool so you have a lot of options i mean you can even probably pop this on a zartan head and it'll look cool so i'll probably try that for photos see how it looks so let's take this bad boy away next up we also have a kiko whose name i forgot earlier in this video so here we are with the kiko and as you can see this is a, a kiko body repainted but and you can pop the head on and pop it onto that blue ninja body so you can have non revenge cybernetic blue ninjas but they also had like weird cybernetic skin faces it was cool like again if you aren't reading the larry hama real american gi joe continuation from idw you should especially before it hits issue 300 please go read that here we are with a snake eyes this is our fortnite snake eyes i've added a uh, normal bandolier to it and i haven't broken in those feet yet so as you can see it's a little uneven here we are with my main man uh storm shadow right so here we are with the storm shadow and again i cannot wait for kamakura on the storm shadow body this storm shadow has been repainted to the idw like colors so i'm super excited for kamakura especially because you take kamakura you turn it into uh throwdown throwdown becomes snake eyes too 
if you haven't read the comic you should uh we'll be i'm not even gonna spoil that for you just really good so here we are also with stalker so you can see what he's like up to a other size joe that's not excuse me that's not uh you know ninja related and then i'm gonna toss in a big boy so you can see it here's my boy roblox so there you go now you got that nice balance there now let's take these guys away next up oh other ninjas obviously you want to do other ninja styles so in case you want to see what it's like up next to a mezco ninja here we are with a mezco gold skull ninja here we are with ooh, the v toys x six inch plus ninjas who actually i just did a review recently on these guys as well can't get enough of that ninja stuff um oh here we are with a valiverse steel brigade uh the night brigade sorry night brigade and then we have articulated icons another style of ninja which is also really cool so again options right let's take these two away then we have a marvel legends spider-man i chose my symbiote this time or black suit depending on which era you're from with spider-man next up we have shf coming right Kuga. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one is important. These actually last two are important because ninjas versus gladiators or fantasy and sword stuff is always a plus for me. So here we are with a gladiator. You can see that big old side difference with him just sitting in the back, right? So let's take these guys away. And last but not least, I threw this one in as a bonus because I've been watching Prey. But imagine ninjas versus Predator, right? Look how big he is. So imagine these cool ninjas like fighting it or a samurai fighting it. I, I love Golden Angel as well. So I just wanted a reason to pop Golden Angel in the video. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I really only did this so I could take cool uh, cool photos of ninjas. Um, and it's probably the only way some of you will see it because you never leave YouTube. You only go on YouTube. <laughs> and that's all right because you've picked something you like and you stuck with it, which isn't always a bad thing. But you know. If you want to see cool pictures, visit the website. I promise I've been I've been uploading a ton of stuff. I promise you. It's a lot of cool updates there. But as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching stuff that's a basic recolor. Um, I know you don't have to watch this, but I'm glad you stuck around to the end and watched it through. Um, and if you did watch the whole video and you're watching it, uh, you know, type your favorite thing. I don't know. Put something nice in the comments so everybody will just be all like, oh, yeah, I remember that. So it's pretty cool. And as you know. I still live in New York City, so occasionally there's somebody being a butthead. <laughs> so as always, please, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.